Who's in a better place at the moment, Manchester United or Chelsea? Oh, that's, that's a great question. Yeah. Thank you. She's smack fire this morning. She's just out of the you she's are just in fire this morning, Jesus. lady. Bosh. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, I'd have to say Chelsea. I think Chelsea are a better side. Why? Well, they're in the Champions League final, for one. Um, so they've got the chance to win the ultimate prize. And I think in terms of where they're going um, as a team with the manager they've got and the players that they've signed... I think next season they're going to be closer to Man City than Man United. Ali? Um, Chelsea's form has been fantastic. I've got to say, brilliant. And they, and, and they look a really, really top team. Performing against Real Madrid, performance against Manchester City, second half, performance against Manchester City in the Cup semi-final. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. I will stand by and say... There's been improvement in Manchester United. And if Manchester United finish second and win the Europa League, I think that's a good season. I really do think it's a good season. But in current form right now, oh, it's a tough one. Chelsea maybe just edge well, it. Chelsea could win the FA Cup as well. Yeah. You know, they've probably got that in the bag. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know about that, but I hear your point. I mean, I'm not sure they've got it in the bag against Leicester, but... It's funny, when you look down the, the form list with Manchester United and Chelsea, there's only a couple of losses for each of them, really, in their last however many games. Like It's been a, it's been a really long stretch for them. And obviously, we know um, at Chelsea, that was a bit of a strange one, wasn't it? West Brom. Um, and then the second yeah. leg of the Champions League, they still went through as well. Um, and then for Manchester United, it's that loss to Leicester in the FA Cup and then that loss to Roma, but they'd already done the business in the first leg. Um, they're both on kind of similar trajectories, really. So I think it'll be really interesting. I think it makes for a brilliant prospect for next season yeah. you've got these teams and, and Liverpool will look different as well when they have their players back their best players back and we sort of want this don't we we want we want a Premier League that's not just going to be a, a walkover for a team we want that competitiveness in it oh I mean how how long has it been since we've had sort of a four horse race for the title yeah. how long since we've had a, a really decent Manchester United yeah wow well, yeah, well, I think um, and, and listen uh, Manchester United have to be there and I think they will be I think next season it is you know all the teams are going to advance um, in terms of the players that are going to sign how they want to do things Liverpool are going to not have that you know so many injuries I just think there's going to be uh, next season I think it's going to be great especially with the fans back good to see you Jamie sorry would you interrupt you know um, talking about Manchester United I mean Harry Kane would be an unbelievable signing for them but do you still think they need a centre back mate um, yes, I do. I think they do need a centre half. I think they need a winger, a right winger, and I think they need Harry Kane. Who finishes higher next season, Spurs or Arsenal? <laughs> oh who, my! Who cares? Oh, who, at this moment in time, it's gonna, we're going to be. It's going to be eight. Eighth or ninth? You know, I mean, you know, Arsenal you know will finish probably ninth. You know who cares? Go on. Our social media department that will have this clipped up and ready for next season. Yeah, literally <laughs> ready. They uh, love. They love throwing uh, us under the bus. Don't they? Just that's, that's a tough question, though, isn't it? <laughs> Go on, Ali. Can you answer it? Yes, Spurs. Oh, I used to like you.